I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll discuss how to find rank of a word. The example before us is to understand methods to find rank of the word rank itself R A N K. When we say rank of the word we are actually trying to write all the words which can be formed using the letters in the given word in alphabetical order and then figure out where will the word R A N K be. That position gives us the rank of the word. Right? It will be very clear when I take this example. So, so it's a four letter word. Let me rewrite the word here. R A N K. So if you want to write words which can be formed using four letters R A N K, what can you do? Let's begin in alphabetical order. We can start with A for example, right? And fill in these three positions with the other letters and get a lot of words. And then we know rank will be way behind, right? because rank starts with R not A. So all these combinations will come before rank. Correct? So likewise, we can continue looking in a sequence which is in alphabetical order and just figure out when does the word R-A-N-K appear and that position will be called rank of the world. So I hope you've understood now what we're trying to do. Now how do we do it? I'll teach you two different methods. One we call shortcut method. One is, is actually the way of understanding also. Important method to understand the whole procedure, right? So let's look into the word rank again into its letters R, A and K. If I arrange them, the letters themselves, in alphabetical order, then what is the position of these? Which one of these comes first? A, of course, will come first, right? So let's write down. A comes first. So if you go in the order, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. So that is the position, right? For these letters, A comes first, then K, then N, then R. So we'll give their position numbers. For A, we'll give 1, for K2, 4 and 3. For R, we'll give position 4. Right? Now we will write the word R, A and K, splitting it into this particular order. Since out of all the words which can be formed with rank, this is the first word, right? So let me write this word here to start with. So it will be R, A, K, N, and R, right? So we are still not writing all the combinations, but we are trying to understand that that's the sequence in which we can search while searching for the word R A N K, right? Now, if I start with A, if I start with A, there could be many words which can be formed with rank. So if you go for permutations, the number of words which can be formed are lot, right? Four times, three times, two times, one. If I start with A, then I could have combinations, I should say permutations here, because the order matters of these three letters. A we have taken care of, K and R, three letters. That means I could fill the space with three factorial ways. So there are so many words which can be formed starting with A and using the letters R, A and K. You get an idea. And all these words 
will come before rank we are looking at rank and therefore our position is after these words once we are exhausted with a's we'll start with k right the next in our alphabetical order and then with k also we can make how many we still have three positions to fill in another three factorial ways we get k then we'll start with n we can try all these words all of them will come before rank since r is in the last position right so all these will come before so there are another three factorial ways to fill in so we are looking into dictionary think like that all the words possible from the letters r a and k and now we hit r r we need correct rank r we need so we got our first word which we need then we'll go in the alphabetical order that's why i wrote this a is my next we need that also good and then we hit k right then we get to k that is not our word our word has n not k so here we have now one position left the only word which can come out of these three letters the only letter which can come is n right is n so we have one position next time what we can do is when we start with r a right so we already got these two so we again continue with r a now we have already taken care of we got these two r and a right for easy what we do is when we got them we could kind of cancel them showing that r we have already got a we have already got right i didn't want to cancel it since i want to use the same thing again but i'll make a new one okay so we already got r a we tried k k didn't work so we'll try n now so if i write n here now we do have k to follow and that gives us our word so this word is the word which we're looking for and its position is 3 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 1 plus 1 correct now what is 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 times 2 which is 6 right so we get our number here which is let me write this as 6 this is 6 this is equal to 6 this is equal to 1 this is equal to 1 and we add them all 18 19 20 20 and we say rank of rank is 20 correct so that is how we get the rank of rank correct so here we followed a procedure practically counting all the words which could come before rank and then rank followed at 20th position this was an easy example we don't have repetition of letters but still it's good to understand the procedure now i'll also teach you the shortcut method of doing the same thing we want to find rank of rank r a n k so as we saw at this well try to arrange them in alphabetical order these letters will be a k and r in alphabetical order so the position of each letter respectively will be 1 2 3 and 4 we can write this position number on top of the number so that's just a method to do right so A is one, okay. K is two. N is three. And R is four. R is four. So these are their positions. So if you write them, we start with letters A. You can see right, and then with two K, and then with N, and then with R that came later. So what we see here is how many numbers to the right of four are less than four. 
how many numbers to the right of 4 are less than 4? 1, 2, 3 numbers. So we write number 3 here. How many numbers to the right of 1 is less than 1? None. So we write 0 here. How many numbers less than 3? 2. One number is there and nothing can be less than this. So we get 0. We also saw that starting with A, there are 3 factorial numbers words which can be formed right so that is to say here we get three factorial on the right right ways in which all words starting with a can be formed right okay now in this particular method what we do here is we multiply each one of these by corresponding factorials which is in this position by zero factorial here by one factorial this by 2 factorial and this by 3 factorial. We multiply them, that is to do the operation of product. There are so many letters to follow after R and there are so many combinations which can be made from all those, all those, right? That is to take care of, that is to take care of all this. Do you see that? That is to take care of all this. So we multiply. That's the reason. And add it up. So let me rewrite this. So it basically becomes 3 times 3 factorial plus 0 times 2 factorial plus 1 times 1 factorial plus 0 times 0 factorial. So when you do all this, you get all the words which come before rank. Now you have to add 1 to get to rank. Add 1 to get to rank. That is what it is, right? 3 factorial is 6, so we get 3 times 6, which is 18, plus 0, plus 1 times 1 factorial is 1, plus 0, plus the word itself, that is rank, okay? That is the word rank. And we add this up 18, 19, 20. You get the number 20, which exactly matches with what we got earlier. What we got earlier. Correct? I like you to go through this video just to understand how beautifully it can be done in shortcut method. And there is a direct correlation. Do you see that? Perfect. And you can get the words, the rank of the word very easily and very fast. Now, if I have repeated letters, then it becomes complicated. And if I take a, a big word like Mississauga, it takes a lot of time to write all the combinations, right? So this is a very effective method. In the next video, I'm going to take example with, let's say, another name, uh, let's say David. Okay and figure out the rank of the word David. Here D is being repeated. I hope you enjoyed the procedure of understanding how to find rank of a word. Feel free to share my videos with your friends, subscribe to them and write your comments. Thank you and all the best.